This is K9KEN from HamRadioNation.com. We're going to look at a simple performance tweak that we can maybe help the radio and the computer communicate. If you know that, or if you notice that when you go to change frequency and stuff, it's a little sluggish. You'll notice the screen's not keeping up with the radio, or vice versa, the radio's not keeping up with the screen. You may be able to help out with that. And what you want to do is when you come over to the connect tab here and you're setting up your connections um, you'll notice the speed right here by default every time I've installed this it's come up at 4800 and I've had to increase it so um, this is the speed of your COM port actually and the quicker you can get that COM port to perform the better you're going to have performance wise inside of Ham Radio Deluxe so you're going to want to first of all go to your radio and uh, all the radios that have digital capabilities have a setting inside the menus for setting the COM port speed <coughs> excuse me so you're going to want to dig through your radio menus or maybe consult your manual and find out how to change that speed bring that speed up as high as it'll go on that COM port uh, mine, uh, the maximum is 5600 or 5700 and um, if you set the radio to max and the software to max you're going to get your best performance. So on my menu the uh, menu item is item number 56. If you're running a Kenwood TS2000 uh, it's item number 56 in the menu which is the COM port speed go ahead and set that to whatever your top top end is and you want to set this accordingly to the same speed and that that will help perform or help uh, increase the performance between the computer and the radio um, if you're having problems connecting uh, connecting the radio to the computer and you keep getting the, the frequency read failed things like that one of the easiest things to do is when you're selecting your COM port select auto detect and the speed same thing select auto detect um, you shouldn't have to do this but uh, the computer I just uh, upgraded from always had a problem connecting whenever I created a new connection um, if I told it exactly what COM port and what speed for some reason it didn't find it but if I set them both to auto detect it came in just fine and the program launched uh, no problem um, you're going to want to make sure you pay attention to the click the send and uh, ready to send things here whether or not your radio supports them or requires them this is probably information you should know or know um, if you do not consult your manual and stuff this is good reading and it's the kind of stuff you should probably know by now um, another cool thing that when you're starting ham radio deluxe for the first time or creating a new connection you can set it to auto launch certain aspects of the program as well like I have it automatically start Digital Master and um, the logbook so that I don't have to continue to log them or start them manually every time I start Ham Radio Deluxe. So every, when I click on the Ham Radio Deluxe icon, they all three come up at the same time. Um, if you've got a slow computer and stuff, this is pretty processor intensive and will take a while. But I'm sure most modern systems can handle this. So go ahead and enable these and you won't have to keep starting them manually. Um, that about covers it for now. This is K9KEN from HamRadioNation.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop by the site and holler at me. And uh, I love to hear from everybody. K9KEN, 73 my friends.